Hello everyone, it's Erica here and thank you so much for clicking onto this video. Today we are going to be talking about how you can get a 5 star rating of your island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room and that's Isabel's judgment. She loves three things, furniture, variety, natural beauty, and accessibility. So we're going to hit all three of those in this video. Alright, so the first tip is to mix and match furniture sets. DIY creations and objects to create unique vibes all around your island. Think cozy reading nooks, tropical beach bars, and even a spooky graveyard if that's your thing. Also, tuck furniture into hidden corners, create mini scenes like picnic spots, and don't forget the outdoors. Patio furniture, garden decorations, even little street lamps, every little bit counts. I am personally a fan of street lamps all around the island, they just really add that extra bit of design that elevates your island and I love it for cottage core. These even work on natural islands and of course these work for city themed or town themed islands as well. I think street lamps really really work for almost every theme. Also crafting your own furniture screams personality and boosts your rating. Plus it's way cheaper than going to Nook's Cranny for splurges. Look out for special seasonal DIYs too. Those are an instant Isabel Gold. She loves those. All right, next up is to take advantage of the nature around you. Let's paint the town red, blue, even yellow. Plant diverse flowers in clusters with constant color palettes for a polished look. Rare flower hybrids really score major points with Isabel. And you can plant these flowers everywhere. And if you're struggling with where to place them, how to place them, easy tips is to plant them near trees, fences, bushes, or right in front of your home for that really beautiful look. Bonus points for creating hidden flower gardens behind cliffs or trees. Definitely these little surprises and these little hidden details will impress everyone. All right, let's talk about infrastructure. Laying down paths doesn't only look good, but it makes your island accessible. Isabel absolutely swoons over this. Think winding forest paths, charming cobblestone streets, and maybe even a secret fairyland path hidden in a bamboo grove. The ideas of this are absolutely endless. Paths are definitely a key if you haven't done so already. Isabel loves paths and when I first started, I realized that I had everything completed for the most part, but I was still missing two stars and paths were recommended to me and I just started paving my way throughout the island and this brought in everything together and my island design really flourished. And for bridges and inclines, aim for around seven bridges and seven inclines. It's the sweet spot for maximizing points. Plan strategically, create scenic overlooks, and build bridges to where you want to put them. This will definitely tie in the look of your island and of course bring you to those five stars. And remember talking about those mini areas we can build? Well, you can tuck them behind cliffs, use fences to create secret gardens, or even build a waterfall hidden zen space. Again, ideas are endless with this, but highly recommend fencing around your island, such as neighborhoods around your home, on pathways. There are so many ideas for this. But again, this is a really good way to get those brownie points with Isabel and truly make your island five stars. And here are some extra bonus tips. Definitely take advantage to talk to your villagers. Daily chats keep them happy and might even land you DIY recipe gifts. And this helps so much, guys. I highly recommend this. If you see a villager, make sure to talk to them while you're working on your island and this will help you out a lot. 
Another bonus tip is to keep your island clean and pick up weeds along the way. Even a few weeds can tank your rating, so make sure as the days go by and you're working towards your five stars, pick up those weeds if you see any. Next bonus tip is to just keep checking at Nook's Cranny for limited time items that add unique flair to your island. So I do this every day as my daily routine when I go on to my island. I always check Nook's Cranny because you just never know what they might have. And last bonus tip is to not wait for Isabel's evaluations. Visit resident services and request one whenever you feel your island is looking good. So yeah. Just go ahead, ask Isabel for a rating, and you never know, you just might get those five stars. Again, speed is key if you're looking to get those five stars fast, but don't forget to have fun. Experiment, be creative, and let your inner creative shine. And when you finally get that golden shovel and those five stars, remember it's not just a tool, it's a symbol. It's a symbol of your dedication to your island, so definitely be proud, and again, just have have fun. If you haven't gotten to your five stars quite yet, again, there's no pressure at all, but I really do hope that these tips help you with the speed at how fast you want your five stars. There are so many tips out there to get your five stars fast, but these are the few tips that really helped me. So I hope this really helped. And again, if any of you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, definitely feel free to put them down below as I would love to chat with you guys. And if you stuck to the end, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like videos like these, feel free to subscribe and hit that like button and turn on your post notifications to let you know whenever I upload. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.